Well, I think uh, this this week has been you know great. It's only been two days, and and we've already had a lot of uh, great uh, conversations. I, I think probably the most inspiring thing on Sunday night, I got invited to the uh, the J.P. Morgan private company reception, and and actually got to hear Jamie Dimon talk. And so I was three feet away from him, so it was really really nice to to be able to you know ask some questions and to hear his perspective about things. And I I think generally the way things are feeling right now is that, that uh, there, there's, there's a little more sunshine out there than there used to be. And the last couple of years have been hard. And uh, I think that, that uh, there are a lot of things lining up that, that uh, are very positive for the industry. And you know, one of the comments that he made that I, I've you know, really kind of really struck me is through everything in the last, you know, he said he's been coming to JP Morgan Healthcare Conference for, you know, 30 years, a long time, and and through the whole amount of that time, there's been a lot of ups and downs, the 2008 crash and all of that, and he said, you know what's inspiring about our field is we've done nothing but go up, you know, that, that in terms of what we're doing in terms of making new new medicines, new treatments, new innovations, it's never stopped, we're continuing. And, and you know, I tell everybody, we're, we're in the golden age right now of, I mean, we're, we, all of this stuff is coming together, all the stuff we've been talking about for years, and we're starting to see, you know, it, the, the promises are starting to happen. They're, they're not just promises, they're not things that are out there. And, and that's inspiring and that's exciting. And I think that, that you, can, you can sense that. And, and some, of the, some of the data being presented, uh, the, the new uh, medical devices, diagnostics, therapeutics, all of it is coming together. So we're, you know, I, I, I'm always a very optimistic person, but I think I have a lot of optimism for the future of what, what we're able to do and the impact that we're gonna have on this, on this planet with the, the things that we're developing. Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, the, the end of the year had a lot of interesting things happen on the deal-making side. So a lot of M&A activity, a lot of licensing activity. And from what we can tell, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue for at least a little while. I think that, that a lot of us were nervous about this next year because it's an election year in the United States and there's a lot of uncertainty and the markets hate uncertainty. But, but you know, I think it's, um, you know, what, what, we've, what we're realizing is, there's there's a lot of breakthroughs that are out there and and I, I think the way our system is and whether you can argue whether it's great or not but but the way our system is is the big companies sell the drugs right and the little companies are usually the ones that are the innovators that are finding the new things and so that has that cycle has to happen and, and we're seeing you know it's it's happening and so I think there's a lot of optimism right now that, that that's going to continue at least for a little while I think the election might slow things down as it kind of gets a little further along but I think the early part of this year the sense that I get is there there's an appetite out there for for deal making and you know I think every every CEO I've run into here, they're all on the, the trail looking for deals. And, and, uh, and it, it appears that there's, there's, there's uh, acceptance on the other side. There's, there's people looking for good stuff. And so I think, uh, that, we'll, I think we have a, some exciting few months ahead of us. And like I said, the election probably slow things down later this year, but I, I think we, you know, we, we see that continue for a little while at least. Mm -hmm.